Hi, this is Patrick from Unique AI. This is a new video about maximizing profits from a DCA bot and using TradingView for your advantage, for example, to sell conditions using MACD to get more profits out of your uh, open deals. So basically, uh, I'm Patrick from Munich AI. Um, you can visit my website. I will help you to uh, install and uh, offer you good strategies like long-term strategies. And also we have a back tester we are now using. Um, if you're interested in our services, just go on the website, shop, booking services. And here you will find like a coaching, you will find an installation help and everything. And uh, all the videos you might have seen in our channel, I will help out to set, it, set up the specific bots. Also, please join our Discord channel. We are like a lot of people helping each other, bringing new ideas. And also from the uh, recent bots I've introduced, you will find the stats and um, yeah, currently how much deals have, have been closed, how much profit they made, and you can overtake the strategies. Okay, let's start with the video. So what I want to show you today is like, uh, for example, we use in Fed AI coin and we want to uh, use our crypto trading DCA strategy and finding entrances, sending uh, initial signal to uh, three commas via webhook and also using sell conditions, for example, MACD to close with more profits instead of using like a fixed uh, take profit uh, here in an example of 4%. So in this uh, example here, the bot was like, um, I have deactivated the green labels. The bot was um, yeah, accumulating uh, more and more safety orders and uh, he loaded up until 12 safety orders. So therefore we have like a big volume here and now of course we want to get out maximum of profits. So therefore um, if you have used like only the full percentage as you see here like in the green fields uh, from the average price to here which are four percentage the profit uh, will be gone and this would like only I don't know how much uh, volume but you have made the four percentage instead of using the MACD which like the crossing is here as you can see on the MACD and you would have been made like let's say 15 percentage for example yeah so therefore there's a good option on three commas using like the cell condition MACD as well um, to stay in the trade until the MACD crosses and then automatically sends a sell signal. So I will show you how. Also, I will show you how you can use the ultimate back tester as a start signal, for example. Yeah? So um, when there was an initial base order here, um, probably some people cannot use like RSI, for example, then you can use it. So therefore, at first we go to three commas and I've created like a bot like a standard bot uh, with your settings you use, uh, maybe the settings I introduced in the last video. So if you have set up all the settings, so on, then you go on top and here, scroll down, there's like deal start conditions. And on deal start conditions, you choose trading view custom signal. Yeah, And uh, then we go further to take profit. And here you also choose conditions and condition one trading view custom signals, also the same. So for both for a start of this bot and for the end, for the finish with take profit, we're using like a trading view custom signals. This you need to set up. In addition, you need to set up the minimum profit um, because we want to have like at least, let's say 1.5 percentage. And after this is reached, after the bot has reached 1.5 percentage profit, we wait for the MACD signal Yeah, in this case. So, but first let's go to the um, deal start condition. There we go to Trading View. It doesn't matter basically if you have a, a paid subscription of Trading View or a free one. There's only a difference. I will show you in a bit. So if you want to use the Ultimate Back Tester for your deal start conditions, you have to set up your specific bot uh, settings here, which are already uh, which needs to be the same like in your strategy here. So please be sure these are the same settings. Then. Um, once you have set it up and for example, uh, you want to use like the RSI condition, yeah, then you press OK. So, and now um, you go on the back tester here, like the three points, and then you click on adding an alert. So, and here it's really important that you uh, first go to notifications and then set up this URL here. Yeah? This is like a specific URL for generally um, the trading view sending uh, this webhook URL to trading view. You need to mark this. You can also put like notify an app, for example, or email. Then you get also an, a message that uh, the deal start was triggered. So you set up this URL. Now I will also put this in the video description below so you can easily just copy it. So then you go on settings. And on settings, uh, on the back tester, you only click, for example, order fields, alerts, function calls, or order fields only. This doesn't matter, both of them. And then 
expiration. This is like I have a high subscription for TradingView, so I can make open end alerts. For you, there will be like a specific date, like one month ahead. So and after one month, you need to go uh, to your uh, alarm here, the uh, deal start alarm, and then click right, and then restart all inactive, because you will see that here it says, um, Sorry, it says, uh, for example, I don't know what I've clicked, stop, restart, sorry. Then um, you see here you see here active, but then it says stopped, and then you click right click to uh, reactivate. Yeah. So, and the next thing, which is really important, is like the message. The alert name doesn't matter, but for the message, um, for the deal start, you go save the bot. Yeah, I don't save it yet because uh, I don't know if I've changed something. And then you see this bot overview from this specific bot you've created. You scroll down. And then you see here a different uh, lines where it says message for deal start signal. And this is what we need. Yeah? I will not click on show here because there's a specific idea um, I want not to disclose. And then um, you just can also click here and then he's copying this what is under here. It's like a specific code or some yeah, things. And this one you can put in here, delete everything what it's here and then pass it in. Yeah, Only this. And then you click on create. Once you've done this, um, you will see here that the uh, alert is created and the bot is waiting for signals. Of course, you need to start the bot. Just start, not not a new trade as possible. As soon as possible, just start. So the same thing we're also doing for the MACD. Yeah? You also need to be on the, the same time frame, for example. You can also use a higher time frame. But um, I have now set here RSI. If I put us up, let me see a better example. So as I had said, we wanted to close uh, here yeah, for taking more profits. And here's the same thing. You go on the MACD, click the three points, click add an alert. And then uh, here's something important. You need also to put like the same webhook. Yeah? Uh, you go also on the bot here, but here you click message to close order. Uh, sorry, message to close all deals at market price. So this is specifically for this bot. And then uh, you click this, yeah, you, once you have copied it, you fill it in here, yeah, put pass it. And also um, here you need to put in um, crossing down. Yeah, I will explain in a bit. And uh, here MACD. So, and then once per bar close. So, and then open alert. Uh, you have put it this in here, hopefully. Now yeah, create it and then you press create. So, and that's it. So, we have here MACD crossing down and once per bar close. So, this is why when this um, MACD is crossing, and the bar is closing, so it's fixed that they crossed, yeah, and it's going to the next one. Then the uh, deal signal will be issued. Yeah? And um, the other was, oh, sorry, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, once per deal, and um, here crossing down. I haven't saved it. So and crossing down means once once this. Um, average line and the signal line are crossing down. So it means the MACD says we are in a downtrend again. So we want to have like this order filled and uh, want to send like a sell signal. Yeah, And this is what you do with this uh, MACD alert. Yeah? You create the alert, um, crossing down, MACD once per bar close, putting here this um, message close all deals at market price. And then yeah, once it will uh, um, close. You will uh, you will send the message from TradingView to DCA uh, three commas to your DCA button and close it. Yeah. So basically that's it. This is working. Um, I've already made uh, yeah some more profits uh, instead of like the 1.5 percentage. Unfortunately, as I said in my Discord channel, I set it up this uh, sell condition when I was in a trade. So therefore <laughs> it uh, issued directly a sell. And uh, you should do it when you have not a sell uh, trade open. So directly before you start the bot. So. Yeah, that's it for the video. I hope this is clear for you. I will put the webhook in the video description below. If you like the video, please give me a sub up and uh, also join our Discord and um, think about maybe um, also using our services and the Ultimate Black Tester. Thank you for watching the video and have a nice evening. Bye bye.